Have you ever had a bad day at work? Well, these marketing teams sure did. Let's count down the top 10 marketing mishaps that will make you feel a whole lot better about your own mistakes. Welcome to Mastering Marketing, your daily dose of marketing wisdom. Starting our list at number 10, we have Bix for her pens. Because, of course, women need their own special pens in pastel colors. Who knew regular pens were so masculine? The backlash was swift and hilarious with people taking to social media to mock the unnecessary product. Remember, folks, sometimes a pen is just a pen. At number nine, we have Colgate's venture into frozen food market. Yep, you heard that right. Colgate, the toothpaste brand, thought you would enjoy a nice frozen lasagna after brushing your teeth. Unsurprisingly, consumers couldn't get past the association with the toothpaste and the product flopped spectacularly. Rolling in at number eight is the Ford Etzel. Hyped as the car of the future, it turned out to be a futuristic flop with a design that left consumers puzzled and a price tag that was way too high. The Etzel became a symbol of marketing miscalculation. Talk about putting the brakes on success. Number seven is a case of unfortunate timing. AIDS diet candy was a popular weight loss product until the AIDS epidemic hit. The unfortunate similarity in names led to a drastic drop in sales, proving that sometimes a name change can be a lifesaver, or in this case, a product saver. At number six, McDonald's hashtag McD stories campaign intended to share heartwarming stories about the brand. Instead, it became a platform for customers to share the worst McDonald's experiences. The lesson here, never underestimate the power of social media or disgruntled customers. Number five goes to Burger King's Women Belong in the Kitchen tweet. Intended to promote a scholarship for female chefs, the tweet was seen as tone deaf and sexist. Burger King quickly learned that context is everything and some messages just don't belong on Twitter. At number four, we have the Chevy Nova. The car's name literally translates to no-go in Spanish, which isn't exactly a selling point. But despite this, the car sold reasonably well. But the blunder became a classic example of why localization in marketing is crucial. Taking the number three spot is Gap's logo change. In 2010, Gap unveiled a new logo only to face immediate and intense backlash. The negative response was so overwhelming that Gap reverted to the original logo within a week. Sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Number two is Pepsi's infamous Kendall Jenner ad. The commercial, which trivialized social justice protests, was pulled almost immediately after it aired. The backlash was a powerful reminder that sensitivity and awareness are vital in advertising. And finally, at number one, the most famous marketing mishap of all time, New Coke. In 1985, Coca-Cola decided to change its classic formula, leading to a public outcry. The backlash was so severe that the company had to bring back the original formula, rebranded as Coca-Cola Classic. This colossal blunder is a testament to the power of consumer loyalty and the perils of messing with a good thing. Thanks for watching. Share your thoughts and your favorite marketing mishaps in the comments. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button, click the like button to let me know you like it, and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I release new content. I'll see you next time.